has Derek Carr finally found his footing? I think it, it okay, okay, because I, I, as, as every fan of every team does, you go back and forth with how you feel about things a lot. I think it's like, I do know what Derek Carr is now, and I'm ready to say it. This was like, it's like my week of I know, we know who he is. You know, it's like the guys are finally, we finally this, know this who is it the is. the week. Like, what he is, is look, if you, keep, if you keep him healthier and you actually give him some time in the pocket and the O line actually has a good day, he'll have a pretty solid day. Like, I don't even say he actually had a really good day. I'm not even going to undersell it. Derek Carr had a really good day because the O-line had a really good day. The two things have got to be perfect together. That's what I've noticed is if Derek Carr is not going to play well, if Derek, for Derek Carr to play well, the O-line has to play well. And they can't, when the O-line plays bad, there's not a chance that Derek Carr is going to be the one to pick up the pieces. <laughs> they have to be together. They have to be a unit. And almost maybe was Eric McCoy screaming in his face the perfect thing that this team needed, even though it seemed like it was the breaking point. Just maybe, just maybe the communication <laughs> for the O line and the QB is finally on schedule now. Maybe it was one of those come to earth moments where everybody had to finally. I'm looking at it optimistically as a Saints fan, but no matter how you slice it, regardless, the Saints very legitimately have a playoff shot now over the next few weeks, even if not winning the division. The way the wild card standings are looking, the Saints are right there in the thick of things. We got four more years of car. Three more years yes, of car. That's so it's like they they better exactly they better be able to make it work. This I you better be able to sustain it exactly, knowing how many more years we have of this. That was my question. It's just can this be sustained? It's only a matter of time will we be able to find out. And then Kamara, I just want to give a quick shout out to I got you gotta love it. Breaks our single season uh record for a thousand plus scrimmage yard seasons. Now it's seven consecutive seasons. Uh and then Tanoma passing Yao, three sack day. Man, shouts to you. Seven total sacks against the Giants uh, from the Saints. Just a dominant day from the Saints. So with the Giants, I feel like they're, we know what they are, but they're like kind of feisty where they can win, you know, a game here or there. Like the fact they have, what do they have? Five wins right now. Like I, I would have thought they would have been one of the three win teams. Um, Just, I mean, this team has a lot of pieces to go, especially if Saquon walks. The defense is okay, but like in Wink re- is maximizing them for sure. Though. Oh yeah, I mean like, but what do you do with quarterback? Like, what do you do with a lot of things? And the, but this is the thing. And actually, this was the main note I wanted to talk about. I think you'll agree very much. Like with the Giants, and don't get me wrong. Do I believe that either Tommy or Daniel is the one long term? No, not necessarily at all. But here's the thing: is it's like, and definitely not Daniel. But like, 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 but like, follow me here for a sec. What I'm really trying to say is it's like the QB is not the biggest problem with this team. Like back to the whole, you could throw Ronald McDonald back there. Like we said with the Patriots. Yeah. Like it, the reality is, is the O line is so, so, so bad. Yeah, it's that bad. It doesn't matter. Like it, it, it you, you can, like I, I use my prime time Brady analogy. Like you throw a prime Tommy back there right now and he's still going to be struggling because of how bad and how little of any structure there is on the O line and injury concerns. Like, the whole line has to be rebuilt. So it's like, forget about fucking quarterback. You have to rebuild this whole line before you can throw anybody back there before they're going to have a chance because Tommy's my example. Tommy DeVito has looked good when the old, when Tommy he's, DeVito when, has when, looked good. When, when the O-line is able to do anything, but they're not a good O-line and when they play a good D-line like the Saints, they get obliterated and that's, when you're when you're getting obliterated all game, you can't do anything as a quarterback. This was a game where it's like, I cannot blame Tommy DeVito at all. I will tell you genuinely, this is not a game that I'm sitting here saying Tommy should have done this better. Tommy could have done that better. No, the reality is Tommy did everything he could and actually made multiple elusive plays where this game should have been even worse. Like honestly, realistically, the Giants probably should have been held scoreless. Like there was multiple times the refs really kind of bailed them out. Yeah. Things like that. And or Tommy had a crazy breakaway to get them 20, 30 yards, and it was like put him in field goal range. Minus that. They have nothing because their O-line is so bad. You can't do anything on offense. You can't. When you play a good D-line, this offense is basically non-existent. No, and but this is what I'm talking about, too, is like last year, like we saw it with the Giants. Like, are the Giants really that different of a team this year compared to last year? It's like the same team. And, and again, last year with the close wins and how close wins are so volatile, like when you win the close, the 3.7 point wins, and then it's the same thing as Vikings, like it is volatile. Like it, it, you are who you are. And when you're the team that's losing the close ones, you're just the same as the one that was winning it, where it's, you're not a serious team. You are you might be competitive, but you're not serious. And this year, the Giants aren't even competitive. They've lost that. They've lost that edge. It leaves so many questions. Questions around Dable. Questions around if Wink will stay. Questions around the QB situation. 
it, I mean, questions around who's going to get paid. Like, there are so many questions around this team. 